I'm not really a sports watcher because, you know, I could really care less about who's dribbling the ball, throwing the ball, hitting the ball, kicking the ball, smacking the ball, doing whatever with the ball. But now, the good old Knicks. <sighs> I have no choice but to be a Knicks fan because my mother has loved the Knicks since basically my conception, so basically it's in my blood. But now I heard that Derek Fisher got fired. And so far, this is the second Blackie who was the coach uh, that has gotten fired. Not to say that race has anything to do with it in this particular matter. But now, uh, the Woodson was fired. Now, Fisher is fired. I mean, come on. Like, what's going on here? And me, if I was the coach, I would tell the owner and Phil that we don't have the manpower to win the games. Because uh, for years... It has always been that the Knicks have only had one star and then good players around them. What they need to do is that uh, everyone likes Porzingis and, uh, and Porzingis will be that player. He will be that guy, but he's not that guy now. What they need to do is leave, is, uh, is leave KP on the team and then they need to remove the people who aren't performing because there's no need for them to have lost the games that they lost. I mean, the Knicks uh, this time, I felt, have done much better than they did their previous season. I mean, they have the, their game ratio has increased. Uh, you know, then that little five and thirteen, whatever that they had. But the point of the matter is this: if they don't have the power and the capability, because the star, because there's no star power, then then why even compete? You know, what Carmelo signed for what four, five, six years, or however, he's, uh, however he signed. If that was me, I probably would have walked. Because there's no dedication in the world like that. I mean, there's no dedication in the world to keep me around to constantly be embarrassed. There's no need for it. There is no need for it. And Phil, and Phil, uh, everyone's talking about, oh yeah, Phil Jackson is now on the Knicks. But people have to realize that Phil Jackson, all right, has al has already had. No, when Phil Jackson was coaching. Uh, he already had star players on the team, so he really didn't have to do much. All right, so when everyone's talking about, oh, yeah, Phil Jackson, you know, he's the man with the plan, this and that, that and which. Phil, when he was coaching, he already had he already had star players on the team. You know, so now it's time for us to see what Phillip can do now that there's no stars on the team. And what also needs to go on, too. Is that they is that they need to give it that the Knicks they need to rethink their strategy, all right? And Phil, if he uh, what Phil needs to do is this, all right? Phil probably needs to step in and coach, all right? Instead of hiring people, if Phil is the eleven time champion, you know, then Phil needs to get his behind, all right, to the coaching podium. And start listing out a game plan for what they're going to do next year. Because this is unacceptable. Alright, it's not only a disgrace to the fans. It's a disgrace to the city so nice they named it twice. Alright, so get your lives together. Come up with a game plan because this is unnecessary. And Fisher, I felt Fisher didn't need to be fired. Because it's not, it's, it's not it's the fault. I mean, if the players themselves aren't performing, then whose fault is that? You know, I mean, if you're running a company and, you know, you're, um... Uh, your workers there are, you know, uh, are not performing, you know, they, uh, then they need to go. Or, you know, or another option needs to be, or op another option needs to be figured out. Because if it was me, I would have went to the heads and I would have been like, listen, we don't have the manpower, we don't have another star on the team, etc., or whatever you want to call it, and boom. Now, keep in mind, yet again, I'm not a, I'm not a, a real sports watcher, I could care less, or whatnot, but I figured that since uh, this would be breaking news, or whatnot, I might as well talk about it.